My name is Rebecca Sielfan. I've just graduated from the master's program in computer science in CS this February. What I'm doing is building a website with a team of developers that is designed to match professors and students for the best project collaborations. I came into computer science and this route by a relatively unusual path. I was undergraduate at Princeton and my major was ecology and evolutionary biology. I was completely non-technical up to several years after graduation and interested in major evolutionary transitions that led to the animals being able to explore all different new ecological niches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I was studying evolutionary biology, I realized how much of an emerging field computational biology was. And I decided to switch course in many respects and start learning about computer science and actually get a degree in computer science so that I could do computational biology. My track was computational biology. When I was working on computational biology, I realized that now that we have the tools and now that I know the tools, I could be able to try and solve some of the major problems in science education. The pro uh, of switching from, and I'm not just saying evolutionary biology, what I studied, but any conceptually based non-technical field into computer science is that you can develop ideas while you're in that non-technical field that you can then think about over a period of time and apply to the projects that you're interested in pursuing in a way that people who were trained straight through in computer science don't necessarily have. Con is that you start with the technical aspect a lot later, so it might mean that you don't know it as well. This project came out of one of the challenges that I faced when I was starting later than everybody else. I was working in a computational biology lab on a project that was heavy on computer science. PI may have thought that because I'm a computer science master's student, I should be doing that kind of a project instead of maybe a more biologically focused project, when the more biologically focused type projects would possibly have been more appropriate for me. But I was just given this project when I entered the lab, and I couldn't apply to work on a particular project. So I learned a lot in that period of time. I became a much better programmer than I was when I started out, and also much better at thinking about large projects of the size that Research Match is, because this was probably my biggest computer science project up until the time of Research Match. This experience really helped me think about the questions that I was trying to solve when I was working on Research Match. First of all, the job market is much better and the job prospects for computer science graduates than they are for the graduates of almost any other department. There is a shortage of trained computer scientists and a surplus of computer science jobs. In almost any other department, there is a surplus of trained people in that area and a shortage of those jobs. There are people coming back to school after graduation like me who are training in computer science. It's not just the job market, but it's also the power that people have in terms of their ability to get things done. If you know computer science, or at least you know how to recruit computer scientists and get them to work with you, conceptualize your project, you have a tremendous number of openings to just get things done. There are a lot of people who just love to code, they live to code. I'm not one of those people. I'm interested in 
taking situations and trying to set them up so that they're win-win situations. I feel that way about that subject, the way that a lot of hacker types feel about writing programs. So this means that I have some very good dynamics with the hacker types. It's important for each student not to feel like they're forced into a particular path, but to be able to be themselves in college. I was myself in college. And I think that I learned a lot and I grew a lot and I did many things that even if for many years it wasn't clear what they would be useful for, what they would be good for, I'm now taking those skills and using them for a research match. Mm -hmm. 